welcome back to my channel today we are doing some reckless abandonment we are taking I have all these little containers with leftover paints I have more but I brought out most of them and we are just gonna dump them in a cup and then we're gonna pour them on this canvas this is a 9 by 12 I believe so we'll get started and I think I'll start out with the greens and work my way up to the metallics and stuff like that. I am going to put a little bit of white on the bottom just to kind of give myself something. So here we go. Some of these are labeled, some of them are not. This one's a turquoise green, but I figured why not get rid of all of these little paints that aren't enough to really do like a painting with might as well just pour them all together I don't know if I'm gonna get mud I don't know and I don't care <laughs> we are just gonna go for it so this one was shimmer aqua this one has no name, but it looks like a, a lime green color. And there's very, very little bit of this in there. So a lime green, neon lime green. I always see people do this and it always turns out to be like the most beautiful picture. I think just because you're not overthinking the colors, you're not, you know, you just go for it. So, I figured why not? And they're probably getting to where they need to be used anyways. Because they're probably some of the first paints that I mixed up. So, now neon cobalt blue. Blue and green should be okay next to each other, I would think. Oh, that one had some goop in it. Okay, satin cobalt. Let's see how this all works out. Deco Art Sapphire Extreme Sheen. I'm going to mix this one up because... I stirred, or not stirred, I shook most of them. So let's see, get that one in there. Some of these have more than others in them and some of them just don't. Okay, now another turquoise color. This one's like a darker bluish green. Pretty, can you guys, you can't even see my cup. Such a dork. Okay, so Laguna by Apple Barrel. Okay. There we go. Got that one in there. And then this one, no name. See, I sometimes I would get in a hurry and I wouldn't label them what they were. Okay. I said be quiet, please. Okay, so there's all the greens, the blues. Let's do the purples. I don't know what this one is, but it sure is pretty. Purple. Neon purple. I don't know if this cup's gonna be big enough for all of these colors. This one, no name purple. One, no name purple. I think I made this one. Okay, this one, no name pinky color. <laughs> There's only a tiny bit in there. Okay, this one's a hot pink. Should have used a bigger cup. This 
pretty pink. This one has no name on it either. See, I'm telling you guys. I get so wrapped up sometimes in what I'm doing and I'm like, ah, I can write the name later and then I forget. I forget what it is. Okay, that one. Some of this diva pink. Okay, we're good there. We're gonna, I'm gonna pour this on here and then we may go in with some more colors. I'm gonna put down, I have this really pretty pearly color. I'm gonna put that down on the, in a puddle right there. Maybe some silver. That's what I'll do. I'll do all my metallics in a puddle. And then we'll pour this cup over it. It's going to be so much paint on here. But that's okay. Because what we tip off, I'll use as a skin anyways. So let's get all of our metallics. In a pretty little... That one's not metallic. That's not metallic. This is metallic. Or, yeah. Metallics. This one was rose gold. I think this was a rose gold that I actually lightened up. There's another gold. Ooh, this one's pretty. Gold. <laughs> Do you guys see this big old mess on the side of me? Some of it at least. Here's some more gold. Okay. Eh. I don't think I want to do the yellow. I don't think I want to do the yellow in there. And then we'll put this pink one back. I'll use that for something else. Okay, so here we go. Let's kind of tilt this out a little bit. Okay. Yikes. This may end up being a big mess. Oh my gosh, if you guys can see in this cup, there's a little heart right there. Can you guys see that? Ah, don't spill. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is pretty. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful it is in the cup. Can you guys see that? It's so pretty. Okay. Let's kind of start moving this around. See what we get. I'm just going to kind of try to spread some of it out. It's got a lot of paint on there. Okay, we'll do that corner. Come down, do this corner. Come down, do this corner. And we'll go back down and do this corner. Bring the weight of the paint back over. Woohoo! I see a big chunk of something in there. It's probably um, a chunk of paint, dried up paint that was in one of those little containers. So I'm going to get that out with a, a jigger. It's a big old chunk. Okay. Ooh, I like it. It is so pretty. Look at all those greens and there's like pinks popping through, purples. We're gonna torch it and see what we get to come up to. Let's 
see. Let's see what we can get to pop through here. A little bit. There's some cells coming through up there. There's pink under here. I see some pink under there. Pretty turquoisey colors in there. This is probably going to develop a little bit more from just sitting as it sits. Oh, this is so cool. It's got like these little squiggles. I sure did use a lot of my little things. See all this over here? <laughs> this sure did turn out pretty. Look at that. Looks kind of like a rose in the center. Let's make sure the weight of the paint is in the center. I just don't want it to crack if it has too much paint on it. Come back this way. And go back this way a little bit. Okay, now the weight of my paint is centered and it should be good. That is super pretty. And look at the colors are kind of popping up. I wonder if I should take some off so we get more things popping up. But where do I want to take off at? Because that's beautiful. This is pretty, so is this. I like, I'm liking this side, so maybe let's go, let me turn this around. Let's go this way a little bit. Okay, and we'll bring this back down. There's a chunk right there. Bring this back down like that. And bring the weight of the paint back over to center. Yeah, because there's so much stuff under here. I don't want to leave that much paint on the top and not see all this beautifulness under here. Ooh, now it's starting to lace right there. I see some more popping up here. Mm. Ooh, there's like some orangey color in there. Uh-oh. Hmm, do I want to take some more off? Let's see how fast the paint's moving. Yeah, I'm going to take some more off. Just a little bit. Because if I leave all that paint on there, it's gonna crack. And then that would just be a waste. Let's bring the weight of the paint back. Cover this corner. Okay, now it's moving slow. If you guys can see, it's moving a lot slower now. So that's good. I think that's good right there. What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. See, sometimes it's nice Ooh. just to not have, isn't that cool? Yeah. That's all my leftover paints all mixed together. Oh my. All that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. There's just little bits left in each one. And I dumped them all in a cup and dumped them on a piece, on a canvas. Let's see what we can get now. There's some really neat little effects in here. And I don't remember doing an orange, so I don't know where the orange is coming from. There's like little orange. 
little bits of orange. And we got some lacing here. I really like the blue colors in this thing. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up close so you guys can see. See the, like the cells on the outside right there of those pretty, pretty colors? And that little thing, what is coming up right there? It kind of looks like a fish. This looks like a fish. I have to turn it around so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It looks like a fish swimming. See it? That little blue spot right there, it looks like a fish. It's kind of cool. And then see all that beautiful spillage? I'll make a skin out of that. So. If you guys have a bunch of leftover paints, toss them all in a cup and dump it on a piece of canvas or on a canvas, on a piece. I don't know why I keep saying that on a piece of canvas. Dump it on a canvas and see what you get. This is so beautiful. I love looking at it and seeing stuff in it. Um, that definitely, it looks like a fish jumping out of water. So that's right. pretty cool. And then over here, it's got these little pebbles. I just touched the canvas. Wait, um, where it looks like a fish? Right here, look. See, it looks like a little fish in a spin. Oh, that's cool. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. And then over here actually looks like a hill with like rocks and stuff. It almost looks like a satellite view of a mountain. And then it's got this white lacing and stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to sit here and enjoy this painting for a long time. This is so beautiful. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. I will take some pictures of this and post it at the end of this video so you guys can see. And I would love for you guys to comment and tell me what you see in the picture. And just let me know. I love that. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you... Um, can stay updated with what I'm doing and also click that bell notification so that you get um, notified of all of my videos that I post so you don't miss a thing. All right, guys, have a wonderful day.